Good afternoon, YouTube friends and family. It's your girl, Laura, and I'm coming to you today with a follow-up uh, on the subject of what the military taught me about. And today we're going to discuss teamwork. I think that's so important today um, to discover the, the beautifulness of a team, uh, the importance of working together as a team. Now, in front of you are just a few of my prized possessions. They're my military hats. And... Um, I am more proud of these possessions than anything. These, well, actually, these possessions, they come second to my family. I'm proud of my family, and if I had to put anything second under my family, it would be my, my military possessions. On any day, uh, you can find me at a military surplus store, um, just browsing, maybe picking up a couple of things. And so these are a few things that I've picked up at military stores, um, the VA gift shops, military surplus stores, um, just a little, um, uh, just a few memories, you know? Um, so today when you think of a team, what do you think of? What are some examples that come to your mind when you think of a team? Well, when I think of a team, I think of coworkers, a sports team, your family, in the military, your platoon, your squad. And also included in that list is your church family and your neighborhood is considered your family. Um, it is so important to, to build a team and to strengthen a team. And the military taught us how to build a team and to strengthen a team and what it takes to make a team. Um, Right now in my life, I feel that if you've ever served in the military in any type of capacity, whether it's um, full-time service, uh, reserve, whatever the case may be, I feel that you are part of the biggest sorority in the world. You know, I know we have fraternities and sororities, but if you're part of the military, you're part of one of the biggest sororities or fraternities in the world. You can go anywhere in this world and you can connect with someone who understands what you've been through, who understands where you're coming from, and there's that automatic connection um, when you learn that you're both in the military. So, teamwork, teammates. A team is built to come together to provide support, motivation, and encouragement. A team will rise or fall together. A team is only as strong as its weakest link. Remember that, that's very important. With a team, there has to be 100% trust that your team will have your back, that your team will protect you um, at all times. There has to be a united front with the team. A team has to come to the realization that what affects one will affect all. Within a team, there's reward and there's punishment together. For instance, in the military, if you're not doing your part, then you're holding up the progress of the rest of your teammates. If you do something wrong, the rest of your teammates are going to be punished for that also. And so you learned real quick to get your act together because there's nothing like having your teammates upset, mad, turning against you because you're not holding up your end of the bargain. And again, as I mentioned, there's no big I or little you in the word team. And a team works together to accomplish a specific goal, a, a specific goal excuse me. Um, the military had a saying that a good soldier never leaves another soldier behind. And I find that so true, regardless if you're a soldier, if you're a coworker, if you're a family member, if you're a church family, or if you're part of a neighborhood, you never leave someone else behind. It's so important to, if you make it, to reach back and to pull somebody else along with you. 
or if someone is weak in an area, for you to come alongside that person, walk with them, and to help strengthen them, and to apply your strength to their weakness, and therefore there is no weakness. Okay? And so you have to make up in your mind. I know as far as with families, of the family as a unit, that we have to make up our minds with our family that one will not fall without the other. And that as a family, that no one in the family will fail. You have to make up in your mind that not on your watch will you allow a loved one, a son, a daughter, a cousin, a nephew, a niece, a grandchild, your spiritual sons and daughters. You have to make it up in your mind that on your watch, as long as there's breath in your body, that you will not allow them to fail. That you will do everything in your power to prepare, correct, admonish, encourage, uplift, motivate, discipline, whatever it takes to bring that person up to par. You have to have a made up mind that regardless of what, regardless of how difficult it is, you will not fail under my watch. Wouldn't it be beautiful if a lot of people took on that attitude, if a lot of people took on that mindset, that failure on their watch is not an option, that if we truly looked out for our neighbors, if we truly became our brother's keepers, what a difference this would make in the world. The world would be a much better place. Because you know what? Biting and clawing and tearing each other down, that doesn't help any. When you bite and claw at each other, eventually you self-destruct. Everybody gets destroyed by those self-sabotaging behaviors. So I just wanted to come to you and talk with you about teamwork. Um, there will be a follow-up about teamwork uh, on my blog. My blog is simplylaura5word.wordpress.com. Uh, why don't you come over, take a look, um, see if you like anything. And if also, if you like the content that's a part of my YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. And I have one more thing to ask of you. If you don't mind, please share these videos. Someone needs to hear these messages. Um, and I want to thank you for, for listening. And I want to invite you to uh, continue this series with me on what the military taught me. We're going to be going into different aspects of um, the military life without divulging too much. But um, I just think that that's important. And I think that the military life skills and discipline and everything that the military does, that it can cross over into civilian life. And I think the, the skills and the lessons taught uh, can apply to any area and I think, you know, we can improve the world just on these few skills um, that we have here. I'm quite sure that anyone that served in the military, you may think of other things. And if so, please leave a comment about something that the military taught you. But until then, God bless you. Uh, have a blessed and wonderful uh, Friday. It's a fantastic Friday today. And have a blessed and wonderful weekend. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.